15 on your side weather deck is brought to you by Montel Construction. Quality made simple. Welcome back, West Michigan. I'm 13 on your side meteorologist Elena Nearing outside on the 13 on your side weather deck. There is a lot of water on the weather deck, but it's not currently raining in Grand Rapids. That's the good news. It is much cooler though compared with the last couple of days and we're going to continually see that cool pattern settling in for really the foreseeable future as we welcome in the first few days of October. Our weather ball therefore is blue. Cooler weather is in view. It's still blinking bright with showers in sight. This view brought to us by your West Michigan Ace Hardware stores. You can see the overcast skies. We're continuing to see very cloudy conditions across all of West Michigan. Right now it's 58 degrees downtown Grand Rapids with some light rain being reported. The dew point at 55, so it's dropped a little bit, starting to be a little bit more dry outside, but humidity is still way up there. 90% humidity with winds out of the east northeast around 16 miles per hour. What a difference 24 hours makes. We are 19 degrees cooler in Grand Rapids, 20 degrees cooler on the east side of the state. That's where the cold front has been steadily moving through as well. But you can see that big difference. It's not just us here in West Michigan, but everybody in the Western Great Lakes seeing that drastic cool down because the boundary has passed through. Now we're still seeing the rain associated with that boundary, but the winds have already shifted. You could feel a change in the air. Cloud cover lingering across the area. Light showers gradually drying up. We get a bit of a break, but this is not the end. National Weather Service has extended our flood advisories now up to the north going until 4 p.m. for today. Farther south, 3 p.m for the rest of this afternoon and a flood watch continues for portions of West Michigan as well. Now, as we look ahead, the hour by hour forecast, you can see the bulk of the rain continues to travel eastward. Look at the winds out of the northeast gusting up to 20 miles per hour at times. Here comes our next push of rain. So we do get a bit of a break, but this is 6 p.m. Those fingers of rain just starting to creep back in from the west. So Lakeshore communities will get it first, especially along and south of I-96. We could still see a couple of sprinkles farther to the north, but I'm thinking that the bulk of the heavy rain is going to be happening right around sunset and then gradually fizzling out. Another blast of moisture by two, uh, Thursday morning, rather. The heaviest amounts at this point look to be focused a little bit farther south. However, the ground isn't nearly as saturated in areas like Kalamazoo, Battle Creek, and really along the I-94 corridor. So we're not as concerned with the flooding uh, issues that we're seeing farther north. So early Friday morning, finally the rain starts to wind down. We'll see a couple of lake effect rain showers developing, maybe some grapple associated with those boundaries too, considering the drastic difference between the air temperature versus the water temperature. Lunchtime on Friday, partly cloudy skies and we'll be left with a little bit more pleasant conditions, albeit cool as we move into the weekend. Steadily falling temperatures. We've already dropped into the 50s for most of our lakeshore communities. Again, that flood advisory continues through this afternoon. Off to the north, mid to low 50s expected. And as we head southward, 60 degrees. I think we're even already cooler than that in Grand Rapids. So we'll steadily see that decline through the rest of this afternoon. Here's a look ahead at the 13 on your side forecast. So we do warm up ever so slightly for our Thursday. Breezy conditions, so it won't really feel very warm. 63 degrees, the daytime high, still below average for this time of year. If we remain on the cool side through the end of the week. Our next chance of rain will be on Saturday night. And then, look at that, Kristen, all the sunshine gradually feeling a little warmer as we headed to the first full week of October. I'm looking at it. You made me totally forget about the potential for that AM frost on Saturday. That we had been <laughs> Just ignore about. that. You know, it's I am not ignoring be in it. Grand Rapids. So, I did notice. So uh, I, I heard the birds out there for uh, with you. Your bird friends out there. Yeah, you know, you. it's it was so crazy yesterday. The birds were so active. They're still out here, but I don't think they're as many. So they're giving you a they flying ovation, Elena, for, for for basically for bringing that sun back out. That's oh what it yeah, is. I'm working yeah. on it. <laughs> 